Each person has to be responsible in the way that they decrease their interaction with others, the six feet. And you're all very social distanced, so thank you. But also assuming that everyone that you're interacting with could be positive. And that gets into the hand washing piece, and that gets into the other piece we talked about is surfaces. I think until we really figure out the respiratory transmission versus the surface transmission, and this hard surface transmission, not fabric, will be really critical because that is a way the virus could spread on subways or metros where people would be holding on to things that other people had recently held on to. But so that's the real question. But if we can just keep with the example of Rand Paul, and obviously there are many other people that would be in a similar situation, but just keep with this one example. If he hadn't gotten that test, he would still be showing up to the Senate every day, to his place of work. If he had you been following that, these guidelines, he wouldn't have been infecting others because of the social distancing, washing your hands, doing everything that we, we talked about. So we've talked about also how people make choices because of their jobs that they have to come in. You'll notice I was not here over the weekend. I think this is the part that we really need to take personal responsibility for. Saturday, I had a little low-grade fever. Uh-oh. <laughs> so actually, probably a GI thing. But you know, I'm meticulous. I'm a physician. I looked it up. I ended up. Piggy Bank, I'm from Walter Reed, so I got a test late Saturday night, and I'm negative. I stayed home another day just to, <laughs> just, that. Yeah, just to make sure. That's how we protect one another. So, you know, unless everybody's taking their temperature every day, we can't say that he had no symptoms. These are the kinds of things that we have to do for one another. This is the personal responsibility that I'm talking about, that we all have to practice. And Mr. President, when you say you don't want the cure uh, uh, to be worse um, uh, than, than, than the, than problem. the problem itself, so are you saying that if we kept these measures that we're doing now in place for a couple of months, two Well, they will months, be in place. Uh, at some point, we're going to open up our country, and it's going to be fairly soon. Weeks and, or months? Uh, you seem to be I'm, not looking, I'm not looking at months, I can tell you right now. We're going to be opening up our country. And uh, we're going to be watching certain areas, and we're going to be practicing everything that uh, Deborah's referring to right here. I mean, we're going to be watching this very closely, but uh, you can't keep it closed for the next, uh, you know, f for years. Okay, this is going away. We're we're going to win the battle, but we also have, uh, you know, you have tremendous responsibility. We have jobs. We have uh, people get tremendous anxiety and depression, and uh, you have suicides over things like this. When you have terrible economies, you have death, uh, probably in, I mean, definitely would be in far greater numbers than the numbers that we're talking about with regard to the virus. So we have an obligation. We have a double obligation. Uh, we have a great country. There's no country like it in the world, and there's no economy like it in the world. I mean, we had, we were, we were just blazing. We were coming out with numbers that some numbers weren't even reported because it was already this had happened. They were meaningless. I got numbers about myself that were meaningless because by the time the numbers came in, you know, it's a whole different world with this. But I will tell you that um, we can do both things, John. We can do them both at the same time. I mean, that's okay. What we have gone through is a tremendous learning process. And uh, we've also solved a lot of problems, but we've gone through a tremendous learning problem, you know, uh, situation now. Uh, we're building hospitals in New York. We're building hospitals in California. We're building hospitals in the state of Washington. We've been in touch with the governors. Uh, today, I spoke with a man that I ha happen to like. I spoke with Phil in New Jersey, and we're we're going to be doing uh, something very meaningful in New Jersey. Uh, we're doing something. I spoke with uh, J. B. Pritzker. Called me today. Uh, we're going to be helping them out in Illinois. Uh, we're doing a lot of things in Florida. We're doing a lot of things. And uh, between FEMA and uh, the Army Corps of Engineers and the Admiral and your group, in terms of the purchasing, that's what he does. He purchases. He's supposed to be great. I'll tell you in about uh, two days. But uh, he's going to do a fantastic job. So we have an incredibly talented group of people. Uh, but yeah, we'll be doing two things and three things at one time. Well, at the same time, though, 
We're going to be watching very closely the hotspots. We're going to be taking care and watching very closely our senior citizens, especially those with a, a problem or an illness. We're going to be watching them very, very closely. And we can do that and have an open economy, have an open country. And we have to do that because that causes other problems. And maybe it causes much bigger problems than the problem we're talking about now. You understand? Jeff, please.